All right, guys, I've got a formula for you. One quarter simple yet fun gameplay, plus one quarter knuckle-bitingly gorgeous retro graphics, plus one half action arcadey goodness, equals yet another brilliantly polished game from the folks over at Nitrome. My name's Lysia, this is AppSpy, and I'm playing Rust Bucket. It's a turn-based roguelike, which will be launching on iOS and Android this Thursday as a free-to-play title. In it, you control a Viking helmet, at least I think it's a Viking helmet. It, you know, it could be a very angry orange marshmallow. But either way, you're guiding it across a series of grid-based levels to get to an exit. Trouble is, there's all manner of baddies in the way. Like these jelly mustachioed things here. And killing them is going to require some careful strategy. The controls are fairly simple, like as you can see here, I'm moving around the grid by swiping up. So if I, if I want to go up, I just swipe my finger that way. And to knock out this baddie here, I just swipe up again and that destroys whatever it is I'm facing. Swipe to the left, it goes left, swipe down, go down. So it's just a series of swipes with your thumb. Come to these vases and it's the same thing, just swipe to the right, get those, and there you go, that's a level done. And you parachute, parachute off to the next grid. Now, Rust Bucket is a little bit of a departure for Nitrome. Its last few releases have been platformers, but like Gunbrick and Icebreaker, Rust Bucket has been developed as a kind of expanded version of one of Nitrome's browser games with a lick of shiny, nice little bit of paint. In Rust Bucket's case, it's been based off, uh, oh, what was the name of it? Um, it's, it was a pixel art action game, oh, Tournament. So this is kind of in that same vein of taking a game that Nitrome's made in the past and just really updating it for mobile, making it look super slick and shiny and um, adding in some new elements. So here, there's a whole load of switches and I need to set off the switches. So if I go over here, see those big pillars there, I've got to clear them out of the way. Now, I, what I meant to show you just then is, oh, here's, here's an ad. This is the, the one thing that the game does have in abundance because it is a free to play title. You can pay, I can't remember exactly how much it is, but it'll be a couple of pounds or it's equivalent in dollars to get rid of the ads, which is super useful. So if I pick that button, a guy appears and we'll move down. And what I was going to show you, let me see if I can do it again. The game kind of tells you if you're going to move into the position of an enemy and die by having a cross come up. Let's see if, if it, oh, there it happened again. So I don't know if you guys just saw, but so just here, if I move to the left or move down, these baddies are gonna get me, which is actually quite useful. Although in a way it does take away the challenge a tiny bit. This could be because we're playing in the early levels. So it's kind of being a bit nice to us. So if I move left and then up, these guys here, these baddies, it's for your every one move, it's, it's like they have, they have to wait for two moves. It's very much, you know, turn-based and a lot of strategy to get through to the levels. The other thing that this game has, if I go out to the main menu, it's got a kind of endless mode. If I tap this big sword here, and this is quite cool, so everything's all kind of level-based, but this is like a massive arena that you're being dropped into. So you want to try and take out as many of these baddies as possible in the time allowed. So you've got some pigs, you've got some angry mustachioed green jelly things. I've never actually taken out a pig. Let's try taking it out and see what happens. Oh, no, no, <laughs> that didn't work too well. So yeah, you, you get a score and it's about going the highest score that you can in a kind of more endless mode. So there's a bit of more longevity to the game. I'll go back to the main level to show you a couple more of the mechanics. So there are a whole load of traps in this level or game as well. So with these ones, it's about timing. So you can see if I swipe, that's off, but then it glows and that's saying, get out of the way quick. And it's all about not only combat, but timing as well to make sure you can get as far as possible. These things with the C's are checkpoints. So if I die now, I'll be past those fire traps. And this monster here, this skull, 
He moves every time I move, whereas those jelly mustachey things moved every time I move two moves. So again, it's about being careful and strategizing. You can't just go straight for him like that. You've got to be a little more savvy. So that's Rust Bucket. It's launching on Thursday the 17th of December as a free-to-play title on iOS and Android. Check out pocketgamer.co.uk where the full review will be going up over the next few days. And in the meantime, let me know in the comment section below what you think of Rust Bucket. That's it from me, really, and I'll see you next time. Bye.